All right, here is 7-5. It's example two, solving with rational exponents. Here we have the rational exponent we're going to try to solve for x. Here are the basic steps. We're going to isolate the exponential expression. Then we're going to raise both sides to a power. I put asterisks because it depends on what the power is. And then we're going to try to simplify and solve. So first, let's isolate the expression. Divide both sides by 3. So we get x plus 1. It's in parentheses to the 3 fifths power equals 8. Now, when I say raise to a power, what is the power supposed to look like? The good technique is always choose the reciprocal of that power. So I'm going to write reciprocal right there. So I'm going to raise both sides to the 5 over 3 power. Now look what happens here. 3 times 5 is 15. 5 times 3 is 15. They kind of cancel out, and just the x plus 1 drops out, which is what we want. And then we have to simplify this expression, and this is why we went through all of that work last lesson on how to simplify fractional exponents. This is the cube root of 8 all up to the fifth power. Okay, So we have x plus 1 equals, what is the cube root of 8? It is 2, and we take that up to the fifth power. So that's going to be 2 to the fifth power. I happen to know that's 32. And then subtract 1 from both sides. We get x equals 31. And you can plug that back in to check. If you plug it back in here, it will in fact work the whole equation. So that's the correct answer.